We're here at the NRA annual meetings, and uh, we're, this is Joe Towers. And Joe, I, good to meet you. Uh, a group called Hero Hunt uh, hadn't hadn't been here before. I haven't seen you You're in the Remington booth. You obviously have amazing backers. So congratulations. What is Hero Hunt? Uh, Hero Hunt Inc. We work with uh, injured first responders and uh, military guys, our police and uh, fire and military folks. Uh, we're getting them back out in the woods and getting them back on the trigger and getting them back uh, in in a restorative healing to, to come out and, and spend time with us and, and be with other people that understand what they've gone through and um, just get them back out in the woods and get them, get them dialed back into uh, to doing the things they like to do before their injuries. You know, it's, it's an interesting concept because I've talked to a lot of groups like this that focus uh, almost, I think, exclusively on military. You're the first one I've talked to that also focuses on first responders. Uh, very interesting and, what, and of course there's a need for that, but talk about that need. Well, a lot of the uh, there, there are so many regulations with the HIPAA and stuff. You can't just call an agency and go, hey, do you have any injured officers? This is what we're doing. So we're trying to get our, our message out so our injured first responders know that there are people out here that care about them and that, we can, that we're here to, to help them as well. I'm a police officer here in Nashville. Um, my wife was an injured police officer in 2010 and had to take a pension. And people have lives, and, and you get lost in the mix, and people, hey, we'll keep in touch. We'll, we'll do things with you. And then you know, people forget and they, their lives take over and then these people, I feel like they were getting left behind too. So we're just trying to reach out to them as well and, and let them know that we're here and we're trying to get some stuff going for them as well. When you help one of these, uh, these heroes, one of these men and women, uh, talk about that experience. Talk about, you know, what it feels like. For us, there's no better feeling. I know um, we put a lot of time into this and there are days because we all have full-time jobs. So there are days where you go, I just, I can't carry this load. And then and then you talk to somebody and go, hey, I think you may have saved my life. Um, we've had uh, a couple of, um, we've had 48 people come through our program in three years. And I've actually had a couple of guys call me and say, hey, this was what I needed. I knew I wasn't being a good dad. My head was not in the game. I was so caught up in my world and, and what was going on with me that, and that, and that, because they come to our home and our farm. And I've seen how you and your wife interact and how you interact with your family. And, and a lot of our guys are our family members who are veterans and police officers. and. And I just realized I, I got to get it together. And, you know, we've had a couple of calls and go, hey, I'm having a bad day. So it, it's a great feeling. It makes everything we do worthwhile. Where do people go online to help you out, donate money, donate maybe land? What, what, where do they go? Uh, www.herohuntinc.org. And we're also on Facebook at Hero Hunt Inc. Uh, at Facebook as well.